everyone, we're going to graph the line perpendicular to line AB that passes through point P. So in the first case, uh, we have a horizontal line where the slope is zero. And that line, so if the slope is zero, you basically have y equals two here. Now we want perpendicular. So I'm going to talk about a little bit about the slope. Uh, the slope is zero, and we could put it zero over one, say. So the perpendicular slope would be one divided by zero, or negative one. Um, it doesn't matter. This is going to be undefined, and let me explain why. Um, if you have six divided by three, we know that equals two. And that's because two times three equals six. If you have zero divided by one, that equals zero because zero times one is zero. However, when you have one divided by zero, there is nothing, I'll just put a box here, that we can put in there. When you multiply this by zero, that will give you one. That's why it's called undefined. So the perpendicular um, line to a slope with zero is an undefined line. So that would be a vertical line. In our case, it's just this vertical line. It's not a function. And that would be your uh, slope there. And this line would be called x equals whatever your x is, 3. So just remember that for perpendicular, zero slope and undefined are the negative reciprocals. Now the other two are more normal. So let's write down our point here. That's point um, x is 2 and y is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's find the slope of AB, and the slope of AB is just 1. So we can write that in fraction form. So the perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal, which is going to be negative 1 over 1, or just negative 1. So to find the perpendicular line and to graph it, we're going to write y equals mx plus b. Plug in your perpendicular slope, substitute the m for negative 1 plus b, and now we're going to uh, plug in our um, 2 comma 4, our y is 4, and our, sorry, our x is 2, so we have 4 equals negative 2 plus b, add 2 to both sides, and you get b equals 6. And you're just going to plug that back in. You get y equals negative 1x. I'm just going to write as negative x plus 6. So to graph it, I go to my y-intercept, which is 6. This is 4, 5, 6, so it's way up here. And my slope is negative 1, so you go down 1 to the right 1. And you can just keep hitting these points and graph that. And there's your perpendicular line. And you can make a little uh, right angle there. Okay, this one, you can tell this is a negative slope. Let's write down point P. That's going to be 1, 2. Now the slope of this line, I'm going to try to find two corner points on the grid. So we're going from here up. That's your rise 1, 2, 3. And to the left, 1. So that would be negative 1. Or you could do it a different way and you would have gotten negative 3 over 1. So that's your slope. So the perpendicular slope would be one third, the negative reciprocal.
So we're going to write our equation y equals mx plus b. Plug in your slope. Your new slope is one third. And then we're going to uh, plug in these points because these lie on this line. So y is 2, x is 1. So uh, we get 2 equals 1 third plus b. Subtract 1 third. And that's going to give you, um, you want to write this out. This would be like 6 thirds, because that equals 2, minus 1 third equals 5 thirds. And that equals your B. So, when you fill that in back to this equation, you get Y equals 1 third X plus 5 thirds, which is really close to 2. So, it's basically two and a third. So from here, we're going to, um, let's see, we're going to go through that point. Oh, it's one third is the slope, sorry. That's going to be one and two thirds, sorry. I knew something was wrong. So here's your point one and two thirds is right about there. And then from there, you're just gonna go down one over three. So it's gonna hit about two, three, about here. So it's something like that. This was not a nice one. And there it is. So that's it. Thank you, have a nice day, bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,